Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this week's Round the Paddock. I'm joined by Louis Roby, who, as you can see, has begun weaning, which is the process when uh, the foals are separated from their mothers. Louis, if you could just give us a quick rundown of, of what you do. Yeah, good afternoon, guys. How are you doing? So what we've got here is a batch of eight foals, which are usually our oldest foals, or the more forward types. And when they reach that stage where they're getting a bit in, too independent, we bring the mares and foals in, give the foals about two or three days handling on mum, then take the mare away, put those, put them out in a paddock together and uh, give the foals a weekend off in the boxes. And then shortly afterwards, I just begin, you know, start doing a bit of basic handling in the boxes, flexing left and right, coming forward to the pressure, as you can see. And as you can see here, go through the sprinklers, which is obviously a bit, a bit of a new experience for them. Yeah, I mean, this one is just a bit of a, a bit of entertainment, really. It cools me down as much as it teaches them something. But uh, I just try and expose them to as much as I can now so that I set them up for that next stage in life, whether it's yearling prep or, you know, off to the trainers. If I, if I let them see as much of the real world as I can now, I find they handle everything a lot better later on in life. And can you get a lot of a horse's personality from doing the weaning process? Can you find a lot out about these horses now, how they're going to be in the future? Well, definitely, because, you know, I'm handling eight horses a day. Well, let's say eight horses at the one time. The, the personalities really stand out. You know, some from this batch, I've got one or two uh, fillies that are just very, very intelligent, very, very forward, take everything in their stride. And then, you know, you can compare them to a stubborn colt that just puts his ears back and digs his feet in every every step, every problem he reaches. You can, I just think to myself, you know, later on in life when they hit the track and they're going through the barrier gates or onto a truck, you know, if you can think your way around the problem as opposed to putting up a fight, it's bound to make life a lot easier for the trainer. And the first batch have headed up to the top farm today for the next part of their journey. And let's hope there's a few stars among them. Thank you very much, Lou. Really appreciate that. 